Hi, welcome to my channel. This is good with Madam Chi. I'm a trained chef. You can come to my channel. I'll be teaching you how to cook Nigerian dishes and international and continental dishes. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. You'll be seeing different dishes, both in continental and African dishes. So, thank you. Hi guys and welcome to Cook with Madam Chi. I am your presenter Stephanie and this is your host Madam Chi. So today we are cooking Nigerian fried rice and the ingredient for this fried rice is carrots, green beans and peas. You also need your colored rice which can be um, brought to this color with cooking, by boiling your rice with either curry or turmeric. Also, you need your onion, you need your vegetable or sunflower oil, you need your maggi for taste, you need your salt, you need stock, um, chicken stock, and you also need garlic onion. So as you can see right now, she is just pouring in the oil into the pan. And um, once the oil has gone into the pan, you're going to allow it to heat up for a bit. Um, and then you're going to put in your onion. So at the moment, she's just putting in the onion. Once the onion has gone in, you have to allow your onion to simmer for a bit and get that juice and the flavor out of it. You have to um, leave it for a while. And then she's just put in the chicken stock. Um, after that, you're going to stir for a bit. Just let the flavor um, come together and enjoy the company of each other. And now she's just putting in the rice. So the rice has already be par been parboiled. This rice was parboiled with um, curry. But if you don't have curry, you can make do of turmeric. You can also bring it to that color. And after you have parboiled your rice, you have to wash the curry or the turmeric off because the flavor will be too much because you have put a lot of turmeric or curry into it. And um, now she's just putting in her garlic. This is um, dry grounded garlic. Um, so she's just putting in her garlic and afterwards she is just going to put some maggi. So just to um, get the taste, just to um, give your food a bit of more taste. And after the maggi has gone in, you have to stay it for a while and just let everything come together and just let them you know let let them feel each other's company marinate and and just you know get that flavor out of everything really so now you're going to stir with fried rice guys you use very little water so because of that you have to stir for you have to actually keep stirring so now she's just putting in the salt for taste and then um, when you put the salt, it depends on how much rice you're cooking or the amount of food that you're cooking, but just make sure that you don't put too much of everything. So um, while you go along, you taste and you make sure that you haven't put too much salt or too much um, any flavor. So the last thing that you'll be putting, it's your vegetable, which is the carrot, the green beans and the peas. With that, so that um, you, you like you want your vegetables still hard and crunchy you don't want it to be too soggy so once you put your vegetable in guys it's not going to be long for your food to be ready so before you put your vegetable in make sure that the rice is cooked although the rice has been parboiled it's nearly cooked you cook you parboil your rice and you make it to be nearly ready so when you're putting all the vegetables and all the spices, it's not going to be on the fire for too long. And with this food, guys, she's just putting in some more um, chicken stock just to enhance the taste of it as well. And with this food, to avoid it from burning underneath, you have to keep stirring. As you can see, it's, it's hard work. You have to keep stirring it so that your food don't get burnt underneath. And right now, she is just putting the chicken so she has already cooked the chicken, fried the chicken, and now she's just 
and um, putting the chicken in and once the chicken has gone in it's not going to be um, long for the food to be ready but at the moment the food needs a bit of water just to make it not too dry just to give it that sort of um nice feeling so when you're eating it you don't need you know you don't feel like you're eating dry food and now she's just going to reduce the heat of the um, oven and there you are after that you know your food is actually ready um because with the vegetable you don't want the vegetable to be soggy so as you can see your fried rice is ready it does not take too long guys the fried rice is it, as long as your rice and your vegetables are all cut and ready that is your fried rice ready to go so she's just dishing out the food in a plate so you can see what she has prepared and voila there you go that is your lovely fried rice and look how colorful it is guys and um, it's being served on the table so join us guys you're welcome to eat enjoy bon appetit